Hello everyone, this is Jake, and today I'm going to be going through the knife ball of the this week, which is the inverted uh, spire, and which is you're taking down the Bex Lord. Um, this is pretty much the strike we had during the beta time, so I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are probably already experienced with the strike in general. Um, so this strike is definitely a lot easier paced out compared to last week's, and only problem I have this with strike is the drill part in the section. Uh, so we we'll, are going to be talking about it. So pretty much uh, most of the part I fast forwarded it because it's pretty easy like I said. Um, but this uh, Nightfall version is a bit different than last week. It has a one different modifier which is instead of killing enemies giving you timer, you have to go through this ring as you can see. And each time you go through the ring you get 30 seconds of extra timer. And I would honestly say... Uh, I don't really like that. Uh, I'd rather kill enemies to grab more times because this ring location for me honestly is pretty iffy. Uh, I didn't find this enjoyable at all. So I'm hoping that in the future that I will make a video again for this nightfall in general and trying to get the older rings and get the maximum timer and get the shortest time possible. But as being right now, I don't. I have no interest of doing racking more than once, which I already did last week. And I just want to be get this nightfall done and get my rewards and get out of it. So anyways, that's pretty much all about it. This is another part that you can skip. I don't know why I wasted time killing these enemies. It's just the nature of the Guardian we have, guys. We have to kill the enemies. We have to kill everything we see in our sights. But this is another ring. Uh, and there's so much enemies dropping by that I, I don't even think you can go through the ring. <laughs> Like there's so much enemies around me that I didn't even thought about going through the ring. I mean you could have and got some nice timer. Like that's like there's like four or five rings there. That's like a few minutes to add it to your timer. Anyway, but I died a lot. Um, this was the first run we did. Um, that's the only run I did. Uh, I did it on my hunter. Uh, I'm gonna do it on my warlock and titan later today. But anyways, um, it's pretty easy overall. Uh, like I said, but this is another part that you cannot skip. You actually have to fight these guys through and get to the those like a console whatever thing. You gotta get your portal activated so you can move to the next part. And watch out for that one guy that stuns you. That the Cabal uh, major enemy is just absolutely trash. Uh, I know it's gonna be in the raid and I know it's going to be annoying so hoping that it won't be too terrible to deal with. I mean there's gonna be six different people in the raid compared to three so we should be able to take it out pretty quick or at least I hope so. At least I don't see them like four or five of them in like a one area at a time. But anyway this is another part that this part is what you should be doing just to skip and just drop down to trigger the next room but I mean, they're defending pretty hard, so maybe it's a good idea to kill them. I killed them, um, but we did. And these guys that does close uh, melee range attacks, uh, if there's a solar burn when you come down here and he hits you, I'm assuming he will do a tons of damage to you, so take them out as soon as possible. And these dogs are pretty annoying too, and I'm pretty sure in the raid they're going to have a bunch of sections to utilize this new enemies they added, which is the only enemies I think they added to the game that's different than the original Destiny had. Um, anyways, I will take them out with the rocket launcher or fusion rifle and grenades, but watch out with the rocket launcher if you shoot it too close like I just did, you will kill yourself and you will waste more time in here. But anyway, at this point at the time, uh, we died pretty much so much. Uh, we I think we started a pretty great. I mean, we thought we we didn't have any communication. We didn't have any voice chat. You know, we were playing. We were just playing. We we're friends. Um, met through the PSN. The boy is my really really close friend since you know. I I think we played a lot of different games together. But the other guy is just what we met through the LFG and what, and you know, decent person. Uh, Good player, good gear, so we meet up and we play together for the end game contents. That's the whole thing about the LFG. Uh, you meet new people, make new friends, uh, and do the activities every week. But anyway, beside the point, so this is probably the hardest part of this nightfall, and I will not recommend you trying to get the timer of those rings. Just look at those rings locations, and I will honestly not waste your time. As you can see, I just dodge everything. I only got the true two rings and that's probably enough and I make the hugest mistake in this uh, run which is me trying to get the uh, this ring which I fail and I wasted all my jumps on that thing and I fell down and killed myself and then we waste like whole freaking minute of it 
during that section and it's honestly really really terrible so I would not advise you doing that and once you like a die the enemies get close to where the start of this drill area and then will annoy the heck out of you so anyway that's the part that you should be skipping uh, like I said don't bother trying to get the ring for extra time or you better off just coming down as soon as possible to trigger the boss unless you're trying to do the wrecking quest um, but honestly I don't think that's worth it man uh, does it mean like I don't think that's worth going through that section to get the timer so that section 190% that I will honestly just pass through and the, this boss is much easier than last week's nightfall so I would recommend you just hitting him in the crit spot do a lot of damage first phase could be kind of annoying because he does teleport around quite a bit but honestly uh, compared to last boss you have more DPS time definitely I think um, I mean last week's he had invincible frame um, last week's nightfall where this guy doesn't really have an invincible frame on sections so you just like do a damage to him and he will go to the next phase and you damage to him he'll go to the next phase and the second phase thankfully is really really easy I would recommend you using whatever weapons you have like the heavy weapons, I would recommend you Rocket Launcher. Rocket Launcher always been great in Destiny series, and it's no different in Destiny 2 as well. It's one of the heavy dealing, uh, heavy we weapon, and I will advise you use it much as you can. Anyway, I think you shouldn't shoot rockets too early, as you just can see, he's a little bit of an have an invincible frame at the start. But anyway, you see me do two Rocket Launcher, and doing tons of damage and we are able to just skip this part through and we only had we had really no time for the next boss so honestly whole risk run and halfway through i thought we were gonna fail but we were able to clear, clear this without any failure i guess i mean we almost failed but we cleared it so and the last boss um i would honestly like i said again um take out ads and kill as soon as possible throw everything you got match your like elemental damage type to the burn and just melt it through and I shoot my arrow here to hold down the enemy uh, much as possible and just run it down with the arc damage but anyway that's pretty much all I have for you guys recording to this Nightfalls uh, video hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys have a good luck and good luck with the reward I will see you guys next week with more stuff or tomorrow actually with the raid and stuff but anyway thanks for watching I will see you guys next time bye bye